Sir uh, Keller. I, I want to welcome you and I also really want to, um, to say how welcome the engagement that you've had with us all and the uh, organisations with which we're working very, very closely has been and the genuineness that you are, are bringing to, to, to progressing uh, this really important piece of legislation. But I guess we just come back to the issue of consistency. Um, organisations working on the coalface report time and time again that cases with similar facts have very different results and there isn't a situation, this isn't a situation that we want to continue and that is why we want to be tight in the definition. People, you know, it's very hard for uh, judges to see what they don't know or understand and there has been inconsistency and uh, in 1999 the, um, the Law Society advocated in a paper, Domestic Violence, a case for reform for the introduction of either detailed statutory guidance, guidance or a list of criteria to be considered by the courts in determining whether to grant protective orders. The so Society stated then, there is considerable divergence among district court judges in the exercise of their discretion. The provision of detailed statutory criteria to guide judicial discretion uh, is an approach uh, adopted elsewhere in family law. The Judicial Separation and Family Law and Reform Act 1989, the Family Law Act 1995 and the Family Law and Divorce Act 1996 each set down clear and detailed criteria for consideration by the courts in the exercise of discretion under the legislation. If there wasn't a problem with consistency, we wouldn't be talking about it. But because of the nature of domestic violence, there is a lack of understanding, not in these parts, and I think there is great uh, knowledge and understanding, but it's not everywhere. And therefore, at this point in time, we want to make sure that that it is known and it's understood. The amendments in this group ensure that domestic violence is clear and understood. The list of factors to be taken into account when deciding whether to make a DVA order considered by the courts makes it very clear and creates an absolute understanding. This is about achieving culture change. Uh, this is so important uh, because we are not shifting words, but we're also shifting minds by the words that we have in, in this legislation. Of the amendments submitted in, this, uh, uh, submitted in this group, number six is the most logical and suitable option. Subsections one and two set out an open list of factors, then defines violence, including psychological violence and controlling behaviours in subsection three. Finally, subsection four requires reasons for decisions to be provided to the parties in writing. And whilst there is potential conflict in the definition of co coercive or controlling behaviour with the definitions, that may be addressed at report stage. There is a precedent for such a uh, an approach in divorce law and again I, I, I absolutely recommend the law society submission uh, it isn't just us it isn't just the people like me who are coming from a social work background it is lawyers also supporting this and if the law society believes that it's doable I think that it is something that I would wish you to give care careful consideration to and we will be pressing this minister. Mr. Clifford Lee.